Hi, welcome for our uh, online training sessions. In our previous session, we have discussed uh, what is Oracle applications, what are different uh, roles we have in Oracle applications, what are different types of projects, and what are different documents we will prepare AIM documents, application implementation methodology documents, and different domains and different roles we have discussed. Okay, so now in this uh, session, we are going to discuss how to connect to the Oracle applications. What are the different tools we are going to use? So Oracle applications software, we cannot install in our local system because it takes uh, more space, more than one DB, and it's difficult to go ahead. So that's why we have remote servers. We need to connect to the remote server remote desktop we have to connect like this enter the ip address username and password let me change the ip address here Like this, we have to connect. Once we connect to the server, Oracle applications, we have to open from the browser. As we discussed in our previous sessions, Oracle applications is one of the ERP product, our application, our software. It's one of the ERP application, enterprise resource planning. Okay. So we have to log in by using this credentials, operations, and welcome. This is our front end. This is our front end application. Front end in the sense forms. We are going to open the forms and enter the data. We in the sense our client. Once we implement this product to the client, client employees will come to the office every day and they are going to configure this applications day to day. They enter the day to day transactions. Okay. So let me open uh, some page here. Now we can see the forms over here. This is, this is from the front end. We call it as a front end application. Whatever the information we are going to enter here, that will be saved into the database tables. For example, let me go to system administrator responsibility. Okay, system administrator responsibility and open this user page. I'm going to enter new user. and click save button. We can find that transaction complete, one record applied and saved. In the status bar we can find here. Okay, so it means uh, this information has been saved into the database tables. I would like to know the database connectivity, how we can connect backend. Database means backend. So when we are working with the ERP application, mainly we'll find three, one is our uh, desktop means our application another one is a database we can use the toad tool or we can use sql plus to connect to the database in case if the sessions are there if you want to connect to the fresh session go to session new connection username will provide here password will provide here database vision instance plus connectivity click connect now we are going to write queries here. Select star from FND underscore user, where username equal to A, B, C. Press Control Enter, we'll get a result here. This is what the user ID we have created on 23rd April. This is the username we created on 23rd April 2023 created by who has created this it is created by the another user called operations 1318 and user id is generated by the system this all tables are built in we don't need to create tables in oracle applications erp software database is built in so whenever we are working with oracle applications this complete database is built in over here there are 40 to 50 tables 
available in Oracle applications. If we are clear all these 40 to 50 tables, then we will be able to write the queries and we will be able to develop the reports as well as data conversions, both extract as well as loading. Okay, this is how we can connect to the database. Same query we can write. For example, I required only user ID and username. Yes. We can connect to the database by using the Toad tool or we can also use SQL plus. Username is apps, password is apps at the rate of vision instance. And we can write the same query here in SQL star plus also. In SQL star plus also we can write. We'll be able to see the user ID here and we'll be able to see username here. Okay. But when we are working in the projects, we will always use the Toad for writing the code because it is more flexible. This is one of the GUI tool, graphical user interface, GUI tool. So Toad is more flexible. This is this product is developed by another company called Quest Software. This is not Oracle product. This is developed by Quest Software Company. So what they said, SQL star plus is one of the command prompt, which is used to connect to the database and to fetch the data to communicate with the database. Okay. So instead of SQL star plus, you can use this tool. There are some other uh, tools like uh, PL SQL developer, SQL developer like that. But when we are working in the projects, these two mandatory. SQL plus will be there. Toad, I cannot say mandatory. Some clients will use, some clients will not use because this is licensed. They are supposed to buy the license, right? But when we go for an interview, we can say directly, yes, I worked with the Toad as well as the SQL plus, both the tools to connect with the database. So right now we have seen two types. One is front-end web application where we are going to open the forms and we are entering the data and saving the data and we are trying to query the information here and we are going to get data from database and make some changes if required. We are going to perform all this. Okay, next. This is backend. We have discussed backend database. Frontend and backend we have seen. Whenever we develop the files, for example, forms we have developed, our reports we have developed, our SQL script we have written, file, or we have written some Linux script. Okay, so these all we have written in the file. Whenever we keep this file, it will be available in the local machine. How to upload into the file server? Go to WinSCP3. WinSCP3 is one of the tool which we will be using to upload the files from local mission to server to download the files from server to local mission. For that purpose, we are going to use. Okay, so we have to connect to the file server here. So when SCP3 tool is there, there is a FTP file transfer protocol. There are some putty tools. There might be some other tools will be used to communicate with the remote server for file upload and for file download. But we can say in the interviews, we have used WinSCP3 tool and FTP also we will be using. We must know FTP because it's a basic, it's mandatory. In the interviews also, they'll ask us, do you know any FTP commands for file upload and file download? Around 10 commands we have. We have to learn those 10 commands. We'll see in our training those 10 commands. Okay, so now if we look at here, this is one of the tool, WinSCP3, file upload and file download. If we look at left side, we can see that this is our local machine. Right side, we can see that this is our server. This is our server. Okay, let's go to home. This is Oracle as Oracle Vision Instance Apps apps underscore standard application top we can use any top here po or ap whatever whatever top we require that we are going to use let me go for gl general lecture 
12.0.0. Here we'll try to keep all our forms, reports, SQL programs, control files and all we are going to keep here. But this path is different from one project to another project. It means from one client to another client. Generally, DBA, whenever they install Oracle applications software, they will maintain this path. They will maintain this path here and we are going to have this options over here. We are going to have the options. As soon as we join in the project, we have to ask our team leader or DBA what is the path for our server. Once we find up to this, the remaining is common. GL 12.0.0 reports, US folder, these all are common, no difference, okay? So that we will find as it is here, that we are going to find out as it is over here it is. Okay, this is about uh, the file uh, upload and download, which tool we will use, WinSCP3. WinSCP3 is the tool which we are going to use. So how many tools will be working with Oracle Apps Technical? One is front-end application. So why we required front-end application to perform the setups and transactions. We are going to do the setups and transactions, right? After that, we are going for uh, the stored. Stored is stored and SQL plus. These two are used to connect with the database. We are going to connect with the database, right? So we are going to write the queries, programs, packages. So this is to connect with the database backend. Then another tool is the WinSCP3 tool, or FTP, or PuTTY tools. These tools will be using for file upload and file download. We can upload the files from local machine to server and from server to local machine. Okay, so this, this is about uh, the uh, tools which we use in Oracle uh, applications technical okay so mainly we whenever we are working with the forms we will use form builder when we are working with the reports we use report builder we are going to use xml reports as well as we are going to use bi reports that we'll see one by one one by one we are going to see okay so this is the connectivity with the tools whenever we are working with oracle applications okay thank you